by Cancer. A smudge of sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Cancer. If you have Cancer anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Cancer. What would you like Cancer to know or to be aware of during or for this reading? Cancer, welcome to Remedies Alchemy and Tarot. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive tarot card reader. I do look at the sun placement, the moon placement, and other planetary placements to get an idea of the energy that is surrounding you at this time. But first and foremost, I do rely on my intuition. It is my intention that during this reading, you learn to trust and listen and verify your intuition as well. I do believe that tarot card readings are a wonderful way to vet your intuition. Thank you, Spirit. Message is for the Cancer. What would you like the Cancer to know or to be aware of during or for this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Message is for the Cancer. One more card for the Cancer, please. Thank you. Beautiful cards lining up for you this week, Cancer. And at the Cancer. The foundation, the basis of your reading this week is the Page of Pentacles. Again, big ideas, grand adventures, something new, perhaps a student. A education? Is there something, an education, additional learning that needs to be gathered? Followed by, or forced by the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands is about uh, relationships, partnerships, couples, fresh starts, new beginnings, breaking free of the castle walls. And let's see how those cards play into the rest of your reading this week, Cancer. And we start off in your uh, public life, and this can be your career, education, business, work, finance, and money. We start off with the King of Cups. No man is an island unto himself. Being emotionally guarded or emotionally cut off from others. And we're doing that as because of the hangman. We're doing some self-introspection. Know thyself. Ooh, followed by the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is the wealthiest card in the tarot. A lot of money coming in for you, Cancer. You can see things that others cannot. You can see things that others cannot. You have a deeper, broader understanding of things. Uh, you're able to mix you're able to mix what you're feeling with what the facts are. Your feelings are your thoughts your emotions are a good indicator, are a good gauge of what the facts are, of what's actually going on. What is going, you know, there's changes that are occurring or will be occurring in policies. Management is making changes to policies that will directly affect you 
and others. And it's going to affect your long-term interest of your organization and its employees or your co-workers. And you see many flaws in these policy changes. And you feel, you do feel or will feel compelled to speak up and voice your concerns. Don't worry about voicing your concerns as your opinions, your thoughts are deeply valued and deeply appreciated. And your style of negotiation, so it's not like you're just going to go up and say this is wrong or that this needs to change, but you're going to negotiate your point of view and negotiate the changes that you think that need to be made. But be patient because they're going to come around to your point of view. They are going to see a lot of value in the changes or the they're going to thank you for bringing these things to their attention and they're going to thank you in a monetary way cancer in your private life and this will be your love family home and friends we start off with the ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands is the bringing in of the harvest. We're going to reap what we have sown, and you have reaped or have sown a healthy healing relationship, as is indicated here by the Two of Cups, followed by the Four of Cups. Something is coming in, a gift that is coming in for you followed by the strength card, playing into your strengths, playing into, playing into your strengths. Every family or every group of friends has a weak link. And it's hard to make a decision when someone is not being clear or even taking part in a discussion. But as a Cancer, you like to have as much information or as much input from everyone involved before making plans or making a decision. It's okay, Cancer, to trust your intuition with this decision. You will be asked, or excuse me, you can ask as many questions as you would like or as many questions as possible. But in the end, it's going to be up to you. What you feel is best is what everyone is going to agree on. I love that. You are, you do try to take everybody's thoughts and feelings into consideration and schedules when making a decision, when making plans. But again, everybody is trusting your decisions. Everybody is trusting your judgment. Make as an informed decision as you possibly can and everyone is going to be on board here, Cancer. Messages from Spirit. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a gift. The Judgment card, the Resurrection of the Past, something from the past. The Queen of Wands, following your intuition. The Queen of Cups, perhaps an emotional overload, that overload, an emotional overload. Emotional overload. What is going on here, Cancer? 
there are many opportunities coming in for you, Cancer, ones that are going to allow you to shine. What is important here is that you trust your instinct and set your goals high. This week in your private life, you will see at least one red flag, but you're going to need to trust it. You're only going to get one glimpse. You're only going to get one heads up. It's like you're getting a heads up in your personal life this week, a red flag, but you're only going to get one red flag.